What is up guys? I'm Crab with Spilt Milk here and I'm at the Great Yarmouth Comic Con. Um, lots of uh, celebrities to see today. Uh, Sophia Miles was meant to be here but she's been replaced by Gareth David Lloyd and um, Mike Quinn. Uh, also here today Adrian Rawlins and uh, let me remember every we try and remember everyone. Teacher Tommy T uh, and Christy, Christine Monroe. So let's go and see some stars. Here we are. Lots of people here. What is up guys? I could have a spilt milk here and today, the 1st of June 2024, I visited the Great Yarmouth Comic Con at the Great Yarmouth Racecourse in Norfolk, England. On the guest list headlining the event was Sophia Miles. However, she pulled out last minute and she was re replaced by Gareth David Lloyd. Um, fans of the channel will know that I was, I've seen him twice before um, in Norwich and Newcastle. Um, he's most famous for playing Ianto Jones in Doctor Who spin-off Torchwood. And uh, Sophia was also replaced by Mike Quinn who I'll come on to later. Also on the guest list was Nick Moran, who was most famous for playing Snatcher Scabior in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows. Um, he also pulled out a week before. Um, he was replaced by screenmate Adrian Rawlins, who played James Potter in the Harry Potter films. More on him later. Um, the other guests in attendance were TikToker teacher Tommy T. Uh, this comic on always likes to... to uh, uh, but the Comic Con always likes to have an unexpected guest, like an oddball or a, you know, and and you know, someone left field. Last year they had a someone who's a world who was the world's strongest man at one point. I think he won some uh, contest um, years ago on telly, and uh, um, he was there as well. Um, and that's the thing I like about this event. Um, they always um, they get the usual, you know, usual sci-fi sort of pe people, but they also get like a you know someone who wouldn't expect to see it at Comic Con. But who would you know? You know, like a celeb like a random celebrity, um, and also they the last guest, uh, but certainly not the least, was the first guest announced, uh, Caroline Munro, and more on her later as well. So the first guest I saw was Adrian Rawlins. He has been in many uh, films, most notably The Darkest Hour, uh, The Woman in Black, Angel of Death, as well as the Harry Potter films. Um, he also had roles in Holby City. Casualty, Andor, Neighbours, The Bill, New Tricks, Chernobyl, and Doctor Who. Um, yeah, I need to get a new. Uh, uh, okay, I need to get these to get this measured up and to get a proper protector for this one. Or oh, might just need to cut the side, just cut the top off. Maybe I, I don't know. Um, yeah. So after I saw Adrian, um, I saw uh, Mike Quinn, who famously played Nian Nub. On the, in the Star Wars films, uh, most prevalent in the Return of the Jedi. Fun fact: Neon Nub was originally called Number Nine, and the name derived from that. Uh, Quinn has also assisted Frank Oz in playing Yoda in The Empire Strikes Back. Quinn was also a puppeteer in various films like David Barry's Labyrinth, Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and the various Muppet films. Uh, Quinn is also an animator. He animated in Jurassic Park Three. A Bug's Life and Woody's Roundup sequence in Toy Story 2. Um, when when um, uh, Mike got the call to come to, to you know the last minute call to attend the event, he was at a food festival in Derbyshire. Um, so we all talked about um, that that you know coming down quickly to come to be at the event today. Um, and uh, we talked about all the roles he played in working for various production companies like Jim Henson, Lucasfilm and Pixar. And I think all three of them are now owned by uh, Disney. Um, as you can see, he's made a, uh, um, he's got a, made a logo for Neon Nub, so that's quite cool. Um, I've got this photo because, um, as you can see, it's got the character and it's got the, you know, the person playing the character as well. Um, yeah, so I wanted just to get that so you know who Neon Nub was. You wanted to see that picture, you go, oh, yeah, that's that... Uh, co-pilot of Lando Calrissian and Millennium Falcon in Return of the Jedi. Um, yeah, he was quite um, he was quite good to talk to. Um, you know, he looked like he was fresh, fresh, really. He didn't like he just rushed down from uh, Derbyshire just to be here today. So, uh, yeah, he was quite good. Um, yep. And then finally, um, I don't really know much about Tommy T, so I didn't really see him. And, you know, I've already seen Gareth David Lloyd twice, so I don't need to see him again. 
Um, I also saw, uh, finally, um, it was the most popular guest at the event. Uh, uh, at, at the event, basically, she was the uh, you know the, the one of the longest queue. Uh, Caroline Munro, who needs no real introduction, but it's best known for playing um, Bond girl Naomi in the Spy Who Loved Me, as you can see see here. Um, as you can see from the autograph, I've got one from the film that has a bit of everything. Um, fun fact, um, Naomi, uh, sorry, um, Naomi, uh, well, well, technically I'm correct when I say Naomi um, in the context of um, The Spy Who Loved Me, um, Caroline, uh, she was involved in the British TV series on the buses, she played a poster girl, um, she remarked to me that she was never paid for that role. Um, after seeing all the guests, we were just in time to see, to, to watch the uh, Edge Motorcycle Stunt Show. Ladies and gentlemen, the things this man can do on a motorcycle is incredible. Give it up for him as he comes past, giving you a little taste of what these guys do on the world circuit when they're touring, traveling the world, doing the big competitions. Come on then, Dan, up onto the back and let these guys get a good look at you. Let's make some noise for him, ladies and gentlemen. Give it up for Dan Peace. What? Have to follow this without dropping a foot, without dropping a bike, balancing, holding the front wheel. Now remember, ladies and gentlemen, if you see something impressive, you've got to let him know. Watch how he fights himself. Woo! Now he's holding and balancing every single muscle fiber, twitching to make sure that a bike stays in position and firing. Whoa! Across the top of the lorry, ladies and gentlemen. Woo! After that, we went around the stalls, as you can see, lots of cosplayers, anime characters are well represented, um, lots of, uh, you know, droids as well, lots of uh, bumping into us and uh, <laughs> basically causing chaos. Um, we finished the day watching uh, World Association Wrestling, which was featured, um, they were featured in the recent WWE film, Fighting With My Family, which documented the story of Diva Page, um, how she came from, you know, uh, she... Page was um from Norwich, which was um which is basically like you know um the closest city to Great Yarmouth um to the event, so about thirty miles away. So uh, yeah, that's you know it's, re it's relevant in that way. Um, and uh, in, as you can see in the video, I got I got two uh, divas were in an exhibition match having a fight. Yeah. Oh 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 oh. Ciao. They're doing all the check, make sure they've got no weapons on them. It's all good, it's all good, don't worry, it's all, it's all fate, it's all, it's all scripted. Oh! Refugee just getting up some final instructions.
And where's the referee actually ringing the bell yet? The schoolboy pin again! One, two, oh, kick out. Two count, two count, oh, oh, oh. oh. One, two. Oh, uh, no hair pulling. Overall, it was a very enjoyable day for me and my friends. I am already looking forward to next year. Hopefully, Sophia Miles and Nick Moran will be able to join us next year or at another time. Next up for me is Norcon at the Norfolk Showground in Norwich. Um, there's a guest update. In addition to uh, Joseph Marcel, who played the butler in The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and Chris Barry, who played Rimmer in Red Dwarf, um, I mentioned both in my last video from Newcastle. Uh, two more guests have been announced. Interestingly enough, both played robots, uh, well, best known for playing robots. Robert Llewellyn, who played Crichton in Red Dwarf. Um, we also saw him in Newcastle. And I'm excited to see Romy J. Scharf, who played Alpha 5 in the first three series of Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. Um, this one is not until late September, so there's lots of time for me to save up and for the organisers to get more guests. Well, thank you very much for watching the video. I hope, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if, you, if you did like it, please like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.